Once a year, this temple throws an unforgettable celebration that illuminates the night sky with a kaleidoscope of colorful lanterns. So get ready to immerse yourself into a breathtaking symphony of lights and culture, unlike anything that you've ever experienced before. Our journey today takes us across town to an area that's located close to Samyun. From Heyende, it'll take you roughly 45 minutes to get there by cab, but if you're already near Samyun, this temple is only a short bus ride away. It's a really nice day, living in the right space, breathing your grace, got me feeling so good away. away. Yeah, you're keeping me sane, got me in my right brain, I can't explain, but I'm feeling so good away. In today's episode, you're all in for a treat because we're here at Sam Guangsa Temple, and this week marks one of their largest festivals of the year. So let's go and check it out. Over one million attendees come each year to see this spectacle of lights and to celebrate Buddha's birthday. So if you ever want to catch this event, the date will change from year to year because it follows the lunar calendar, but it typically happens sometime during May. But even without the lanterns, this temple is definitely still worth visiting because this place is absolutely stunning and massive. In fact, CNN voted that this temple was in the top 50 most beautiful places to visit in all of Korea. To the right of the main hall, you'll see a nine-story stone pagoda, which stands 30 meters in height. Now this temple was fairly recently built, so they don't come with the same historic relevance as some of the other popular temples, but believe me, these temples are visually just as captivating and stunning. So this whole temple is built kind of close to the top of a mountain. So it's a little tiring going up and down over here because this temple is huge, it's massive. But it's honestly such a beautiful temple. So it just turned seven o'clock and they just turned the lanterns on. And it looks really nice already, but we're kind of staying over here and we're waiting for it to get a little darker first, and then we'll show you around. So if you think this place looks nice during the day, take a look at this at night. Check this out. Summer nights and it's just you and me dreaming. Don't wanna wake up at all. I wish that the camera could do a better job of capturing exactly what I'm seeing here, because the sheer volume of lanterns totally blew my mind. Right around this time was when floods of other visitors started showing up. The vibe that I felt walking through here felt so magical and enchanting. I am so glad that I got the chance to share this experience with you all. This event was so beautiful that we wanted to be a part of it and hang up our own lantern. So we just put up our own lantern and we got an amazing spot right in front of this dragon.
By the way, if you enjoyed the video so far, please do me this huge favor and hit that like button. Walking through here made me feel like I was walking through the middle of a movie set. I absolutely love watching historic Korean dramas. So this was by far the coolest experience that I've ever had walking through a temple. So this place is actually getting really busy. The later it gets, I'm seeing more and more people here. If you're ever planning on visiting Korea during this season, then I would 100% recommend adding this to your itinerary. Now this temple is also open all year round and 24 hours a day. But if you specifically want to see this festival, it usually goes on for several weeks and the lanterns are turned on from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. Wasn't this temple so amazing? So in total, they have lit over 40,000 of these lanterns over here. So it's a pretty spectacular show and I wish you could have seen this in person because it is so breathtaking here. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode checking out this beautiful temple. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time somewhere in Korea. See